call upon them at this time to hear us in our thoughts. Mistimo, that we make our minds strong for what we're going to do today. See him chacha, see him the have concerns about what's happening to our dear mother. And it affects all of us. Oh no heart, mother. going to sit idly by and let these facilities be expanded. We're not going to sit idly by and just watch the pipelines and the tanker traffic continue to increase in size. And most people don't even know it, but right now, two times a week, leaving right from over there, there's two tankers carrying about three times as much as was spilled by the Exxon Valdez, putting our Vancouver Harbor at risk. And not only that, but Kinder Morgan, the company who, uh, who runs that terminal over there, has very quietly been trying to actually expand the amount of oil that's passing through there. In fact, they've said that they want to go up to 700,000 barrels a week coming through that pipeline, which would drastically increase not only the threat to our coastline, but it would also increase the amount that we are contributing to climate change. In the fight against climate change in British Columbia, we're standing blocks away from ground zero. That Kinder Morgan terminal is really where the, the, the fight is right at its core, right here in British Columbia, because that's where the existing tanker traffic is coming from. That's where the exports to Asia and down the, the coast, uh, the west coast of Canada and the United States is coming from. And it's the one place where we can really choke off the expansion of, of tar sands oil right here in British Columbia. The government here in Canada and British Columbia wants to oppose, uh, it wants to bring in the, uh, more and more oil through this area. Who here is going to stand up and say no? So that's really why we're all here today, because uh, you know whether you're in Washington DC or you're in British Columbia, we're putting our government on notice that we're not going to allow these things to happen in the quiet of night anymore. We're going to stand up and say no and be present anytime anyone tries to bring forward the kind of infrastructure that will expand the largest source of climate changing pollution in North America. People will see today and we'll hear from speakers today about the Chevron refinery that's on the north, um, co I mean the north end of Burnaby here on the coast of the Broad Inlet. We'll hear about uh, the storage farms for oil that are on the side of Burnaby Mountain, the Kinder Morgan terminal and the Shell facilities that are right by Lake City Way, the SkyTrain station there. There's all sorts of oil infrastructure that's going to be supporting the tar sands right here in our backyard. and. In that spirit, what, we're, we, we, what we want to do is we want to highlight this infrastructure to people because we're going to have to eventually take the fight on ourselves, right? We realize that the governments and the corporations aren't really listening. Seeing this happen all throughout BC, where indigenous communities are often the front lines of stopping this infrastructure, we're only joining that fight. We're only standing up in solidarity with these communities that have been doing it for a very long time. So I'm hoping people are also not only marching here with us today, but committing themselves to take action themselves against these projects. No pipelines, no tankers, no tarsen. Let's see if we can make them hear us down at the refinery. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Dirty oil has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Dirty oil has got to go. They knew we were coming. For our inlet, the land of the Squamish people, tsleil Musqueam, these people who have lived here for thousands of years on this land, tsleil across the way are the people of this inlet. Their stories are on this water. Their food was on this water. They could go out there at low tide any time throughout their history and get dinner. They can't do that now. These, this inlet is slowly dying. And here's their plan. Here's the plan of Kinder Morgan. They want to, they're bringing in 700,000 barrel tankers. These are Af called Aframax giant tank oil tankers. 
about two a week over the past year, couple of years. They now want to bring in million barrel tankers. These are called Suez style or Suez Max tankers. Million barrels a piece. But to do that, they have to dredge second narrow. So they want to dredge this entire channel. Not going to happen. It will not happen. I do not believe that the indigenous people of this land and the citizens of Vancouver and the citizens of this region are going to allow that to happen. But, but on top of that, on top of that, we don't want to be the shipping port for the tar sands. I can tell you that everywhere in the world that there's a shipping port, the inlets die. They die from oil. Do you know that more oil is spilled in the world on normal operations than from these giant spills? Everywhere you have a shipping port, you have the death of that inlet, the death of that water from, from oil contamination everywhere in the world. And eventually, you have a major oil spill. And if there is a major oil spill from one of these 700,000 gallon or million, gal or million barrel or 700,000 barrel tankers, it will destroy this region. It will destroy our economy. It will destroy the people. It will destroy this coastal environment, the ecosystem, the marine environment, the fish, the fishery, tourism, everything that we have, everything that's beautiful and great about Vancouver, we lose that if there is an oil spill in these waters. That will not happen. Can black, not blue. I ain't help but deep down I knew. In shallow waters I used to see. Dolphins playing in front of me. The seaweed swaying, keeping time. Tidal rhythms left no cry. so happy to be here. I'm going to sing one more song called um, Carried Away and I wrote it a couple of years ago. Um, it's about how the land is changing and about um, all these developments and how it's really impacting everyone. <laughs> Once upon a dream, the whales splashed, the eagles flew, the frogs hopped. Then everything changed. I wish those days were back with me. How I miss them badly. Memories are carried on the eagles' wings, remembering yesterday. If you want to know who will change the world, look in the mirror. Thank you, and see you on the barricades. Yeah.